I am one with my glorious I am presence and Holy Christ self. My personalities, body elemental, and new spirit. All parts of my being are in balance, harmony, and alignment. And my aura is fully contained within my heart diamond and Metatron's cosmic egg. I am now ready for today's message. Greetings, beloveds. With great love in my heart, I come to you once again to bless you, to enlighten you, to inspire and encourage you to support and maintain you every step of the way along your path. You are never alone, beloveds. Not even for one single second. For if you were truly alone in the way that some of you think you are, you would simply cease to exist. That must seem strange to you, beloveds. And yet you are part of a great whole. And as long as that whole exists, you can never be alone and you can never cease to exist. They are both equally impossible. So take comfort in that knowledge. Let it become part of your awareness and your belief system as long as you need to have one. It is much more helpful for you to believe that you are always surrounded by loving beings than to believe that you are alone. It is always better to believe in an all-powerful God than in an all-powerful Satan. So as long as you need a belief system Choose the belief system that makes you feel wonderful, safe, part of a greater whole, in the right place at the right time. Whether you have consciously chosen the belief system that you are operating on now or not, makes no difference. Now that you are an awakened being, you are free to choose what belief system you wish to use to operate on. Of course, a deeply held belief system that is part of your unconscious mind will not be easily changed overnight. It will take time to root out the basis of any belief system that has taken root within your unconscious. But you will be able to remove it by replacing it with the one of your choice by the one that you know is closer to eternal truth. I have told you in many, many videos 
that the holy living light, the iridescent white light that contains all colors and all frequencies, brings you everything that you need to flourish and to thrive in all dimensions. You may accept this as being true. You may even believe it with your conscious mind. But as long as your unconscious mind believes that you need money or other people or a job or anything belonging to the material world in order to flourish and thrive, then it has not fully taken hold within you. It is not fully your acting belief system. So you must work on this, beloveds. It is not enough to repeat it or to write it down, to say it to other people in order for it to be fully active within you. It must permeate every thought and action that you have so that you feel so totally one with that light that you know without the slightest doubt that it has the power to bring into manifestation every single thing that you require. When things come to you seemingly from another person or from your own efforts or from the money that you have, please, beloveds, give thanks to God. Give thanks to the light for having brought it to you. For the appearance of how it came to you is just that. It is an appearance that is part of all that is. And so if you thank only the appearance source of what you have received, then your consciousness has not expanded into the truth that it is God and the living light that has provided you with everything. As you give thanks to the true source of all that you have received, then your unconscious will begin to accept that as your acting truth. And in this way, it will become all-powerful within you. Then you will rely more and more on the light, on God, when you need something, when you feel that you need something, you will simply give thanks to God that you have everything you need. And as you continue to give thanks and remain in a consciousness of having all that you need, it will manifest before you. And it will not matter from what source it comes. Of course, when you are given things, you should thank the person that has served as the vehicle for bringing it to you. We do not wish you to ignore those people or the earthly sources of what you receive. But even as you thank the person 
And you can do this within your own heart without saying it out loud to anyone. Give thanks to God that it has come to you and recognize God as the only true source of all that you have received. And then begin to look at everything that comes to you as a gift from God. Even those things that appear on the outside to be a hardship, a challenge, or a suffering of some kind. And remember that that too is only an appearance. And it is only the ego's way of judging the gift that God has given you. Today, Christmas had a wonderful experience with a storm. As the storm clouds came in and darkened the sky, she perceived the clouds as being perfectly beautiful, not menacing, not threatening. And when the wind began to move everything around, she welcomed that as well and gave thanks for the storm that was about to explode into the atmosphere around her. She took care of everything in the garden and made sure that everything was in a safe place for what it needed. And then she went inside the house and began her meditation. Adama came to her and told her to become one with the storm. In the same way that when she does her meditations with the great central sun, she breathes the light from the sun into her being and then she breathes the light from her own being an egg back up to the great central sun. This is what she did with the storm. And as the rain poured down around the house and the wind blew its mighty breath, she became one with the storm and breathed its energy into her being and breathed the energy from her being back into the storm. A great energy filled her. This energy was filled with joy and love and utter peace. And Adama reminded her that the storm never hurts or brings harm to itself. So when you become one with the storm, no harm can come to you. Now, beloveds, if you could look upon all of your life's events, especially the challenging ones, as storms that are brought to you as gifts from God and become one with them. You can pass through them, not only unharmed, but with greater energy and enlightenment than you did have before the storm began. Isn't this a wonderful gift, beloveds? Isn't this a wonderful way to accept everything that happens to you, even the challenging and difficult and seemingly negative ones, 
as a gift from God, meant to make you stronger and more enlightened, more wise and more brilliant in every dimension in which you exist. I hope that you can do this, beloveds. I am offering it to you in the form of this message so that you can begin to perceive your storms in a different fashion so that you can be enlightened and exhilarated by them. This is my gift to you for this day. Thank you for listening to these videos. I love you and I bless you always. I am Metatron.